Yes. Uh, in fact, today we're going to get, Ovali is going to have an exclusive look at uh, the forthcoming Web Presence Builder version 11, which will come out at the same time that Parallels Plus Panel version 11 becomes available. Uh, what we're looking at now is a uh, preview version of Parallels Plus Panel 11 uh, in Power User mode. So this would be uh, the mode that you would see, and uh, your customers would see a slightly scaled down version of this for their own panel dashboard. Um, the major changes visually are we have a new color scheme and some new icons, but uh, it's mostly just a skin. There's not a lot of uh, significant change to the interface or the locations of uh, specific features. So um, when you upgrade, your users should have no problem adapting to it uh, because everything will be in the same place. And if you prefer the uh, the 10.x uh, skins, you can go back to those as well. So. Just a, a little feature on the on that. Um, but since we're talking about Web Presence Builder today, let's take a look at that. So this is uh, looks pretty much the same. I believe we're going to get some additional uh, uh, topics uh, when we ship 11, uh, although they're not in this current version now. But this uh, catalog will extend. I believe we're we're targeting somewhere around 100. It's uh, currently 77 in uh, the present the current version of Web Presence Builder, and of course, if you are using this in other languages, then those uh, topic templates are localized as well. Um, for the purpose of this, I'm going to just build a quick website uh, as we go and show you some of the new features. I think I will build a travel blog today. I'll use the information that's already in there, just so we have a bit of time, and as your customers know, in about five seconds, we can generate a website pretty quickly. Just like that, ready to go. So the things I want to show today are some of the major changes or the new changes that we're doing in, uh, in 11. Um, the first thing you may notice is that we have these nice rounded corners here on the on the header and on the menus and on some of the elements. So we've added a little bit of flexibility um, in design um, so that you can fine tune the look and feel of your website. And I'll deal, drill into that in a minute. Um, the, major, the major difference that your customers will see as you move to 11 is we've consolidated the layout and style uh, function to, into a single tab called design. Um, to, just to make the real estate in the in the wizard a little more uh, efficient, and to put all these uh, grouped functions in the same place um, so that you can manage this aspect of your site at the same time. Um, I mentioned we did corners, so you can see um, how we can modify corners here. Um, this is a uh, website header out here, so I can go and I can change the area. I can select the area that I want to change. And then if we move to this area over to the right-hand side, I can determine, I can check or uncheck whether I want them rounded. So if I, if I undo these and you watch over on this side, you can see the, the roundings go away up there in the upper right-hand corner or upper left-hand corner and that one. And I can round them again. So I can fine-tune how I want these different elements to look, which is nice. And this rounding can be applied to the watermark, the header, the footer, or content. Um, and actually, there's a, another area. There's a sidebar content, but since this layout doesn't have it yet, uh, it can't be applied. Um, moving on, borders. I think this is, uh, this is not new. So this, is, this was already in the 10x version. Um, but you can basically fine tune the style of the borders um, the line styles uh, for different areas of content, and you can actually add um, site borders as well. So I'm going to add the site borders as well. And then layout, very interesting here. Um, we've done a lot of work here and added a lot more flexibility so you can have uh, more, uh, you can fine tune the look and feel of your website. Uh, in the past, uh, there, were, there was a choice between no one and two sidebars. Here I can select to have a sidebar or I can select to have two sidebars. Um, I can 
manage the width of each column here. So right now it's three columns even spread. If I go to one, so I say I have a site bar and, a and content, or I can move that site bar over. Um, some other things I can do are I can make the sidebar the whole width of the screen. So there's a lot of dynamic uh, abilities here uh, in terms of how I can uh, adjust these and, and adjust these globally. So that'll be something interesting for end users to give them the more flexibility there. Um, let me go and build a couple of quick things here. I'll take my modules. I'm going to embed a video. So as I do this, another thing you can see here is in the same as we did drag and drop before, now we have these zones that say site-wide area, which means if I drop this, this module will be visible across the site. But there's also page-specific area. So it's very uh, granular here, but if you find, you know, when you find it, you can drop it. And I just want to drop this video onto this page um, and make it available uh, just on this page. I'm going to go and pick up a, uh, a URL so I can link to my video. And I'm going to build a video in there. And uh, I want to add another element here. I want to add an uh, image gallery as well. So I'm going to drop it down here into the page specific area. And it gives me the choice. I can go and pull my images off of the internet from Picasa, or I can store my images in my web presence builder in my uh, system files there. I'm going to go out to Picasa and pick up some images as well. I think I need to, oops, yes, background access. And there we go. Minimize that. So one of the things that's interesting that we've, one of the changes we've made in the gallery is the gallery properties. Now I can paginate my gallery, so I have about, uh, 15 or 20 images here, and I want to, uh, I only want to show five per page, for example, but we'll make them large. So what I've done here is I've laid it out in such a way that I can scroll through these now. And so I'll show you my gallery. This is one of my interests. Um, Baskill Bridges. These are bridges that, uh, that open they're drawbridges of a sort, and they uh, they pivot, and generally they are operated by a counterweight, so they take very little energy to open and close. Yes, they do. Very cool. So, so I have a little gallery of Baskill bridges from around the world, and uh, that's part of my travel site here that I just built for you. In addition, I added a video. And that's a, that's a postcard from one that's actually in Seattle, an old one, across the Ship Canal. Anyway, and then you can see the light box at the top as well that, uh, that you can quickly navigate to different images. So let's close that. Um, my video is about a Baskill Bridge as well. So let's see what else we have on here. We did rounded corners and borders and layout. Um, a couple of new modules we've added or changes to the modules here. We now have um, we now have something called site-wide text. Although I don't see it here on here, but there's a uh, there's an ability to add a piece of text that, and have it surface site-wide. Uh, I'm just not seeing it now. And uh, same with images. And also there is the site logo module. So this is what it allowed me to do is basically um, drop a logo into my website and have it appear across pages. I don't think I hit a zone here. So let me try it again. 
So it just uses the logo that's already in the website. And if I navigate to other pages, It appears on there as well. So there's just some interesting uses there. Um, last thing I want to show you is what we call the dashboard. So this is pretty exciting. I'm going to pick this up here. This is our, our dashboard, and it's meant for uh, a website owner. So um, what it does is it aggregates different pieces of data um, from different modules, essentially, into a dashboard for you. Um, I don't have this configured on the back end because um, I'm on a demo system, but essentially if you're using Google Analytics, and you have an analytics code plugged into your website and you have an account set up with Google, you can review those results um, in this window. And it's fairly extensive if you've looked at Google Analytics. It'll tell you where your, where your visitors are coming from geographically, how long they spend, what pages they visit, a whole wealth of information um, that now your, uh, every one of your website users will be able to enjoy and access. Um, some other information that will be available on the dashboard, um, this is the Google Analytics statistics. So there's a, there's a, a roll up at the top, statistics, um, comments and orders. So if you're using Discus, for example, and people comment on things on your website, what this will do is this will um, roll up all those comments into the dashboard so you can, you can just read them on one screen as opposed to having to navigate to all your different pages and read the different discussions. Um, if you have a uh, shopping cart enabled, the Equid shopping cart, uh, you will, and people place orders on your website, you will be able to get a quick view um, through this dashboard of uh, what you've sold. So if, you're, if your uh, customers are using e-commerce, they have online stores. Um, this dashboard will provide them a, uh, a quick view of that. Um, and then there's an external services tab. This is, uh, this is a, a means by which we'll be able to offer website users additional services to complement their websites. Um, the examples we have here is uh, uh, Photolia, which is a, um, a, a, a stock photography website. So, for example, they could click on that and go to that and get new images to use for their website. Uh, the Stop the Hacker example here is an uh, example of a, of a partner solution um, that is used to basically protect individual websites from oh, external malfeasance and bad doery. Um, so that is uh, the essence of... Uh, the changes that you'll see in Web Presence Builder uh, 11 when it comes out. Uh, remember, we, when we ship Plesk Panel 11, that's our major ship vehicle. Uh, we put a lot of changes uh, and new features into that. And at the same time, we also ship Web Presence Builder. And as you can see, we've made some significant design changes and flexibility there. Uh, and uh, our customer business manager, which is our billing system, which uh, gets some additional features uh, as well. And they all come out on the same uh, cycle. That's some great information, Adam. Thanks so much for sharing all that with us. Those are some great new features. And they'll really help put people's websites, especially the do-it-yourself people, to the next level and make it look that much more professional. I really like yeah, that word, too. That's really good. Yeah, we, we like it. This, this product is uh, getting a lot of uh, good feedback, a lot of interest, both from uh, Plesk panel users and actually from non-Plesk users as well. So uh, we expect that this is going to be a popular product for us, and uh, we're always interested in seeing uh, customer websites built using Web Presence Builder. And you guys are really great about uh, 